Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to create a custom get light direction in Unity URP shader graph. This way in your scene, every time you move the direction of light, the shader or the material created with the shader will display a different image based on this amount of light. In recent versions of Unity and of the shader graph, you can just simply look for a main light direction node. But in earlier versions, this doesn't exist and you have to create your own custom functions. So first, right click in your project, create, shadow graph, and then look for subgraph. Call that light node. I already have one, so I'm gonna call that light node two. I'm gonna open it. And by default, we have one output that is a vector four. What I'm gonna do is change that into a vector three and rename that direction. I'm gonna add another output, which I will call color. And we also change that to vector three. Now, I'm gonna right click, create a node and look for custom function. In here, I'm gonna create my own custom function to get the light from the scene. There is no inputs in this function, but we have two outputs. One called direction, just like before, which will also be a vector three. And the second one called color, just like before once again, and also being a vector three. I'm gonna get the direction of this custom function and plug that into the direction of the output and the color of this function plugged into the color of the output. So right now we have an output from this custom function that we get into the output of the subgraph, which we will use then in the shadow graph, but we do not have a custom function. To create this custom function, I'm gonna change the type here from file to string. The name will be main light because I want the main light from the scene. And then I'm gonna copy and paste this code. I'm gonna make this window bigger so we can look at the code. So in this code, what we're doing here is if we're in the shadow graph preview, so if we're working on the shadow graph, we're defining two values. First, a direction, which will be pretty much a vector three. Those are default values of 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and zero. And we're defining color value of just one which is plain white. Otherwise, if we are actually inside the game, we define three different values. We want a light. In this case, we want the main light, which is in the URP, the directional light. So we're defining a value light, which is of type light, and we're getting the function get main light. Once we have that, we want to have the direction of this light. So where is this light pointing at? To do so, we just get back this light value that we just got and we write dot direction to get the direction of the light. And this is the exact same thing for the color. We define a color property, which is just what we've been creating before this light and we want its color. So if my light is simply white, the color will be white. If my light is red, it will be red and so on. So now that we have this main custom node, you can just save and I'm gonna save this asset. I'm gonna back, go back into my shader and by default, I already have this light node here. But if you were for the first time making it, you can create a node, uh, look for the name of the subgraph we created, which is light node, in my case, light node two. And in here, you just need to get the direction. You don't have to worry about the color. We just want the direction here. And in my case, I will plug that into a dot product, save the asset, you can go inside the game view, and you can see that every time I move in the preview, we have a different color based on where the light hits. So this is it for this video and I will see you in the next one.